going to talk about the new portable diffuser. Yay! They're so the nice. It's a great design. Yes, very functional. So 3.30 is, is uh, just before oh. we normally go on. Have you seen any? Yeah, yeah. Just hey. they're starting to come now. Great. There they go. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Ashley and I are just talking about the portable diffusers today. We're going to do a little unboxing with this one and then talk about some details. So think of questions that you're going to have for us. Yes. So we can address them. And I realize I don't have to yell <laughs> like normal because I have my mic on. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I can hear both of you. You know what's funny? See, Jean is saying, is this the travel one? It is. Yes. Like if you saw the box, the box threw me off because... Because it's beautiful. <laughs> because it's it's a it's big. Yeah. And right. So when uh, Ashley pulled that out the first time to show me, I was like, "Oh, I'm <laughs> Is this the size of it? Do I'm not sure if it's two size yeah. there, but it's pretty close. Pretty close. If not, yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, let's see. Is it okay to leave in the hot car? Okay, we're going to get to questions, but that's one of the questions that are coming in. So, actually, I'm going to do start an unboxing with this one. Okay. Um, and do you want to answer, is it okay to leave in a hot car? Yes. So, as long as the um, travel, the, the diffuser itself will be fine left in a car. Um, if you live maybe in Arizona where it gets up to a hundred and plus know, yeah, <laughs> with your windows closed it you know the the cords might be a little um soft so i would maybe not recommend that if you live in a very warm high temperature climate um i would just kind of keep your diffuser in your travel case and then take it in and out as you go but um, for majority of the states, you should be just fine having this left in your car. Okay, great. great. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so when you first open the box, what? Can it get cold? Oh, Chris is, Chris is over here in the room with us. He's asking, can it get cold? Like yeah. if it's freezing outside, is it okay to leave in the car? The diffuser. You know, I haven't, we haven't done extensive uh, freeze testing on these diffusers, but... I would, I don't know, I'm trying to think of anything else that's like electrical that I would leave in my car. And all I can I mean, think of is like, my car charger is always phone. in my car. Did, and my you, phone, like, phone. Is battery operated? Do they have yep. batteries? So batteries do better in the cold. Well, they're not, they're not, the well, it's just charged. It's a rechargeable, so it's not like you're putting batteries right. in it. Yeah, so it, I but it's electrical. Like, yeah. Okay. So when I leave my phone in the cold weather, right. it drains the battery quickly. Um, but the cold is a little bit more friendly on lithium batteries. Yeah. That's just. And I would say if it gets too hot, probably let it cool off before mm -hmm. you t use the diffuser. Like let it cool down a little bit or let it warm up a little bit before you use the diffuser. That's what I would recommend. If you do accidentally leave it in a car and it's a hundred plus, you know, maybe just like, you know, put it in your house for a little bit, let it cool down and then, and then you should be fine. Um, okay. So I'm going to show this unboxing. So when you open it, it has the lovely travel blend on it. And the thing that I'm most excited about this travel blend is it was super important that this travel blend could be used in any car with any type of families, right? So it's safe to use around dogs. It's safe to use around children. Um, it's clear so that yep. if there's any accidental spilling, it's not like, you know, leaving anything blue or whatever. So we made it clear. Um, so we really wanted this blend to be super travel friendly. Um, and then of course, you know, it, it helps with um, it's like energizing a little yep. bit, it's uplifting, but Focus. it also can help with nausea a yes. little bit. Like we kind of combined all the therapeutic benefits that you could think of that you would need in, in while traveling. Um, so that's really fun. Okay. And then, oh, wait. Tell us what's in it. Yep. yep. And then, oh, I got it. I couldn't get it earlier because <laughs> I have fake nails on. <laughs> so there is, um, there's orange, there's lemon, there's a little bit of black pepper, ginger, spearmint, um, and balsam fir. It smells delightful. That ginger, that spearmint, that's what's going to help you with that nausea. Yes. If you get like car sick or anything, 
It's great. Okay, so then I took it off and then you're just gonna lift this up and you're going to take out the case, which is, it, I've seen a lot of customers asking other customers who have already received it what they think about this case. And this is a hard shell case. It's a soft- it's EVA a, foam. EVA foam, there you go. That's pretty technical. <laughs> um, so it's definitely gonna protect this diffuser. It's a super nice case. Yes. Really nice case. And then you just open it up and you have your lovely Diffuser, and I'm holding the wood grain one, and Ashley has the rose gold, and I did put the travel blend inside the case here, and then I kind of took out the diffuser just so you could see it outside the little strap. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so we've already gotten um, some questions about the diffuser that we wanted to address just first, and then we'll answer anybody else's question, but first and for First and foremost, we heard a lot of customers saying that it was um, that they were having a hard time opening. So on the side, if Danny can get a close zoom, there are two button, two dots right here. Um, when these dots are lined up, the diffuser lid is locked, and that is really important because okay, Danny can scoot back now. So a minute, <laughs> that's really important um, because when we were first testing this out, um, they had actually given it to me to test out, and I went. It's in my cup holder, and I went to pick up the diffuser. And the lid was, you know, all the way on, but as I picked it up, it just twisted just enough. And it was like, you know, I had lifted it just a few in inches and the lid came off and the diffuser fell and got water all over <laughs> me, all over my car. And I was like, we have to fix that. Yes. That is not a good experience. <laughs> so this locking mechanism on the side um, makes it so that if it does spill or anything like that, it's going to there's going to be a lot less water that gets everywhere. Mm -hmm. It still can spill from the top. Yep. Um, so if you completely like tipped it, but just like a quick spill, you're going to get a lot less without the lid coming off. So then to open it, you are going to twist it counterclockwise and then take the lid off. And you do have to give it a pretty good little tug. Um, and the reason for that is, again, we didn't want you to be able to just twist it easily. And if it falls, it can just come off. Mm -hmm. We wanted it to so a, a person would have to twist right. it. An actual locking. Yeah, a mechanism. real locking mechanism. So when it's, the dots are lined up, it's locked. You counterclockwise give it a nice tug twist and it comes right off. Perfect. So that's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite features. Uh-oh, Danny. Oh. I can't, I can't wow. get ID on Danny's iPad to look at comments. Um, but I'm really excited about that feature because I had a bad experience when originally testing one of the, one of the first versions. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm really excited about that. Um, another question that I saw a lot is where is the plug in the back? Mm. Because I saw a lot of people saying that they had bought travel or portable diffusers in the past and the plug is on the bottom. Which would not really make Doesn't that make much sense. sense. No, not when this is sitting in a cup holder, right? right? It needs to be up higher. Yeah, so, so it is just right under the lid about halfway up on the diffuser, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Okay, Ashley, do you have anything awesome that you want to tell them while I look through questions? Hmm. Well, I am really just curious to know which color is your guys' favorite. Oh. Is it the wood grain or the rose gold? I personally love the rose gold for my car, but I love the wood grain for my bathroom at home. So I know that this is a portable, like, you know, travel diffuser, but I also want to call out that this is a great diffuser to utilize anywhere yeah. and still without having it or still with having it be portable. So it can be in a bathroom and not plugged in. So it can be a nice kind of table setting. Um, I think for at home and an, uh, not at home, but in an office mm -hmm. setting, it would be perfect, right? You don't have to have an outlet anywhere right. close. Um, you can have just the diffuser sitting, sitting right on your desk. So I think that's a great option. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it being rechargeable is super important to note um, because it really separates this diffuser from other, you know, other portable type diffusers that may just be smaller. Um, this one is rechargeable, so you don't have to have it plugged in, you know, all the time. Yeah. And it lasts quite a while. I think, um, what is it? Is it like four or five hours if it's on continuous, continuous. and then eight to mm -hmm. ten if it's, if it's plugged in? If it's, you know, if it's on or a if timer, it's, if it's on the intermittent settings. Right. Oh, do we have to restart? I, Does it kick you out? I don't know. Oh. We're going to do a quick check, though. Okay. <laughs> I think we're still on. Okay. Yeah, Good. I think we're still on. Great. Okay, so we're gonna pull up those comments. Um, I did see a comment. What was the comment I saw? Oh, does it fit in a cup holder? Yes. 
It it fits in most cup holders. Fits in mine. Yeah, it's it's pretty small. Yeah, like, like the circumference is pretty. What do you think that is? I don't it, know. It's Three like inches. A, a pop can. So yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Maybe a little bit bigger than a pop can. Mm -hmm. It's it's a pretty pretty thin diffuser, um, which makes it nice because I have small cup holders in in the, in the car I have now, mm -hmm. and um and I was worried, but there's no issues there. Yeah, yeah. So it makes it super convenient that it does just sit right in a cup holder. Um, Do you know how, how uh, what's the um, size of the reservoir? Do you remember off the it top of your head? It is thirty five. Let me just, um, it's also not on here. All right, while she's looking for that, um, Ashley, can the travel blend be purchased separately? Yes, it can. Yes. So the diffuser does come with the case and the travel blend, um, but the travel blend can be purchased separately, and it really is the label. Should we show where's that travel blend at? Right here. I don't know. It's so cute. Oh, my goodness. With the little car. Come on. How cute is that? I like that the exhaust of the car is, is, is all like wonderful flowers. I know. I love it so much. So it can be, it can be purchased separately. Okay. So it's a 45 milliliter reservoir. Perfect. Yes. So that will cover like 20 square feet around. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. Customers are wanting to know what the travel blend smells like, so this one is officially being opened. That's okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I love She's like, that. No problem. <laughs> it is much more complex than citrus. You definitely get some citrus in it, um, but it's very also grounding. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's like has that hint of bright from the citrus, and then it like ends with like this really just kind of complex grounding is how i'm gonna call it yeah i feel like it well you say grounding and then i want to say rounding say ground. yeah you know it yeah. just kind of pulls it all together um I swear it's probably that black pepper we were talking about black pepper on the live earlier and how black pe pepper makes every blend smell much more complex than maybe it is <laughs> uh, I, I think i smelt so this good. blend is smelt a word I, yes. I had a sniff of this blend right before <laughs> this live. That was the first time I had smelt it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really, I, so one time I tried diffusing energy in the car and it was not a pleasant experience. It was too much. Too much. Yeah, it was yeah. too much. This was, this one's just really nice. I yeah. Think. Yeah. It's not like intense, like in your face or mm -hmm. anything. It's, it's very light, which makes it really appropriate for us. Yes. For a car setting very pretty subtle mm -hmm. i will recommend once you the first time using it i would just start with one drop to see how you like how that diffuses and if it's too strong you know i would just keep it at the one and then if you are wanting more you can add more to you know the reservoir but um just as a precautionary if you're sensitive to scent yeah um, I did see a question. Someone said, will this work in a van or just a car? Absolutely, it will work in a van. Um, it will work in a, a room, Trailer, an office, an RV, a bathroom. I mean, yeah. That's what a, I was a, thinking. A uh, hotel room. I couldn't yeah. think of the word hotel. It's fine. Yeah. Um, it covers enough square footage. I would guess like, you know, probably 150. You know, you're thinking like a 10 by, you know, whatever room. Sure, it's yeah. going to cover mm -hmm. that really easy. Yeah. Yeah. So it will definitely work. Um, and with that in mind, we, we tested a lot of different travel diffusers, um, wanting to make sure that it did fill the car, but it wasn't overwhelming. And so, um, so I think the size of this, the amount that it actually diffuses is really great, but the timer settings are something that we should point out because they're not like a regular diffuser timer settings. Um, we made them very appropriate for use in a car because a car is a, um, a smaller space or any, any room, like a bedroom or something, right? It's usually a smaller space. And so we made the timer settings more appropriate than that. So you have um, a 30 minutes on and then it shuts off or you have five minutes on, five minutes off or 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And we actually asked our customers like, what timer settings do you want to see? Would you use in a car? Mm -hmm. And these these were by far the, the most popular choice. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's important to note that it's not regular timer settings. You're not gonna get, you know, two hours, four right. hours, like, cause you, we don't recommend doing that in a car or in a small enclosed mm -hmm, space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is yeah. there, um, Sorry, Danny. Is, 
that's okay. <laughs> the, um, his the iPad, iPad keeps <laughs> turning off, and so we can't see your comments. It's coming. It's coming. It's 15. Yeah. There we go. It's coming. It's thinking about it. <laughs> okay. I'm we need your face. Okay, there you go. It, it needs his face. He doesn't have, have a have face. A face. <laughs> okay. Half a face. Oh yeah. I was going to ask: Is there um, uh, is there any difference in in uh, cleaning and care of this diffuser than than uh, any of the other diffusers that we've sold in the past? You know, I don't believe so. I can't no, recall. No, there wouldn't. Yeah. Just like wiping it out after mm -hmm. use. Um, and then if it gets, you know, where you've used a colorful or a thick oil or something, just like vinegar mm -hmm. is great. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I would. And th this is from the same company that makes our other diffusers. Yes. Right? Yep. So it's the, basically the same innards. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, same quality, right. same innards. Yeah. Yep. 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 So you're going to get that same quality. And I would just recommend, you know, <laughs> taking off the lid to pour out the rest of your water instead of trying to pour it from this hole. Yeah, um, that that will just give you a cleaner experience. <laughs> yeah. In, uh, in some of our other diffusers, when you go to pour out the excess water, um, you need to be careful not to pour it like over. I can't remember. There's some holes and stuff that you want to try to avoid getting into. Yeah. Does this, this one have anything like that? Yeah, I think you're pr you're pretty safe with this one mm -hmm. though. This one really can probably be poured from any direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so just people saying, I'm just joining, what's the travel blend? So the travel blend was specifically created for use when traveling, so it can help with, um, it can be like invigorating, um, it can help with nausea. Um, what else did you add last time? Um, there was something, there was. It was. Oh, focus and yes, concentration. Yes, focus and concentration. Yes. Yeah, so it's great. And it's it's not, um, it has some citrus, but that black pe pepper, um, it, I call it grounding. She says rounding. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's super complex. It's not like an intense citrus. Um, it, it's a really complex blend. And it's just really kind of soft and subtle mm -hmm. and, and really lovely. Nothing that is going to be too overwhelming right. um, in an enclosed space. And like Ashley had mentioned earlier, for those that are just joining, and I've seen some questions come through, thank you. Um, we recommend you just start with one drop, and then you can add you know drops if, if that's not strong enough for whatever space you're using it in whether that's a car your office bathroom mm -hmm. um start with one drop and then add more if you need more yeah but that's a good start i had just mentioned that i my the first time i had smelled this uh, blend was just before this live and my initial reaction from smelling it was it was the kind of smell i want to smell after shoving kids in the car and trying to get ready for a trip it like it yeah and that's why i think grounding yeah it really just kind of calms yeah. you a little yeah, yeah. Okay, but not like in a car. sleep way because it has right. those lovely citruses mm -hmm. that you know that was a very very nice yeah, nice it is very nice. Um, okay, so yes, as a reminder, or just uh, to repeat for those that are just joining, the lid does twist on and off. So the lid actually has a locking mechanism. So when the two dots are lined up, the diffuser is locked. And then to unlock it, you just give it a nice tug. It is like you can see I'm twisting it here and it's not going, you do just have to, don't be afraid to break it. Counterclockwise. Into it. <laughs> yeah, just counterclockwise twist it and then the lid comes right off. Um, we, it was really important that it locked because we had some negative experiences mm -hmm. testing diffusers that didn't and lid falling off and water getting everywhere. So, so it, it with, like, locks. Kids and dogs and or animals in the car. It's it's nice to have that locking feature. <laughs> yeah. Um, how long does the charge last? People want to see the inside. So that here is... you go. Ashley's going to look at how the diffuser lasts about four to five hours um, if on continuous use, and then eight to ten hours if um, you're using the intermittent settings. Yeah, intermittent timing. And then the charger um, charging time. If if your diffuser is completely dead, it'll take about four and a half hours to charge up to a hundred percent, and then the battery can run up to three hours continuously. And can it be used while it's plugged in and charging? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And again, it, it plugs in about halfway up on the diffuser, so you don't have to worry if it's in a um, a cup, cup holder. holder. 
if it's in a cup holder, <laughs> why can't I think of words today? If it's in a cup holder, um, the charger, you don't have to worry about it like not fitting because the, you know, the cords, cords there or anything weird. else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, which is really nice. And this is the nerdy, this is a nerd question. Do we know what type, is it a specialty charger or is this a... This is um, the nerd question. Is it a USB-C? Is it a... Do we know what uh, kind of charge? It is a is? USB charger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Do you want to grab the no. charger oh, right yeah. there? No, it's it's a nothing. Nope. Nope, just it's just a regular normal. charger. She'll show you it. Yeah. yeah. So USB, and this looks like a USB-C. It is a USB-C. So USB-C. Um, a a USB-C charger. Yeah, so a lot of the newer phones are USB-C. Yeah. So that's just... Just so you know, you might already have the cord. Yeah. And if you don't, it comes with one. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. Cool. Let's see the cord. Woo, we're getting excited <laughs> up in here. Uh, again, nerd. I'm excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do see Jordan says you guys have thought of everything. We did a lot of testing because a travel diffuser was really important to our customers. They really wanted one. And we've had multiple travel diffusers and have tested multiple travel diffusers and never found one we liked. And so it took honestly a couple of years of testing and trial and error until we finally found one that we were like this, this is, is going it. to work yeah, yeah. <laughs> we checked all of the boxes mm -hmm. covered everything that we needed it to answered all of the concerns and questions our customers you know were having about travel diffusers they were using so so yeah we're really excited it can be charged when in a cup holder yes, yes. but i i i guess i I don't know. I don't think I would have normally thought of that, but we've had a lot of customers that have asked that. So yeah, kind of just like how you, when your phone is charging, you're able to use that while you're still yeah. on the go as well. USB is it BPA is, free? I was going to say USB C yes, is really is. nice because it doesn't matter which way you plug it in. It makes it just easier to plug in. So yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you guys did that. Yeah. That we did that, I guess. Yes. And it is BPA free and it yes. does use um, a special plastic that is specifically with all of our diffusers. Um, and one of the reasons that we work with this diffuser manufacturer is because of the type of plastic that they use. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Do you? But it is a special type of plastic. Um, so it's really long lasting. It's not going to be eaten up by essential oils in use, um, which is really nice. Yes, the plastic, all of it is BPA free. Yep, all of the plastic yep. is BPA free. So awesome. So just as a reminder, it comes in the wood grain as well as the rose gold. Mm -hmm. And um, when you buy the diffuser, the diffuser comes with the travel blend right here. It comes with the travel blend and the case, the case and a charger and a charger. Yes. Or you can buy the travel blend on its own. Yes. And then I haven't seen any other questions. I think um, I saw one other question just asking if you could put the charger in the, um, the, uh, the not like in your car and the other plug. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you mean not like, like a, not yeah. like a cigarette lighter plug, but what's that? A USB like that. This is going to go directly in. Right. So the answer is no, because. <laughs> This only fits in the in your USB. Um, but there's port. USB ports in cars. Yes. In some newer cars. Yes. Now. And you can plug it right into there. Right. Okay. Um, maybe I misread that. Okay. Question. I didn't see it. Ashley's gonna look up that question again. Oh. Can you use a lighter plug in car to charge? Oh well, if the I so I have like a, a lighter plug that this Has, plugs into. Right. Okay. Yes. So as long as, as, yep, as long as a USB can be plugged into whatever you're using in the car. Yes. Then it will work. Yeah. <laughs> we got That it. was difficult. <laughs> we got there. Um, okay. I think, is it dual voltage? I don't know what that means. Oh, do you know, like, if, if um, an international customer, can they use, can they plug this into, like, their adapter to use in another country? We'll find out. Yeah. So most of, most of the, um, the, um, Adapters that you will be using to plug, like these ones for sure, will um, regulate how much power is getting sent. Okay, so it should be fine for international customers then. Yeah, great. Yeah. If they've uh, taken into account, if you can charge your phone battery with that same plug, plug. in, you're going to be fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Um, okay, so I actually am seeing, I'm glad a couple of people have asked because I remember I saw earlier too. So customers are asking about, are there any oils that shouldn't be diffused in a car? And 
not really. There's not like a set rule. Um, just remember that a car is a very small enclosed space. So, you know, I might not recommend you go and diffuse, you know, like germ fighter in your car all day long because that's a, a pretty intense oil, right? Um, so you could do it for like 30 minutes and then turn it off and you would be fine. Um, so I would just be careful with that. And then I also would be careful with any color, with any oil that has like an intense color to it. Mm -hmm. um, just be care because it, in case you accidentally tipped it over in your car or something like that. Right. Um, and that's why this blend is clear. We made sure it was clear so that, you know, there was the, just that F extra kind of safety precaution put into play. Um, but other than that, there's not really any rules with what oils you can or cannot diffuse in the car. Yep. Okay. So I think we covered all of the questions. Um, the last question, actually one more question our customers are asking is when will our other diffusers come? Oh. And um, they are here in the, like, Kentucky the this morning. US, they yeah. were in Kentucky this morning on their way to us. And as soon as we get them in the warehouse, we are putting them on the website. Yes. So um, it will be before the end of the month, mm -hmm. but um, but it could be sooner than that. I mean, we're just, we're waiting. We're yeah, ready. We're on pins and needles too. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and those are two home diffusers um, in two different sizes and two, two different, different colors. colors. Yeah. So we're really excited about those. Those are coming. will be for sure by the end of the month, but but could be sooner. Like check every single day because if, <laughs> if they show up tomorrow morning, they'll be on the website tomorrow. So you never know. Anyway, so we're really excited. But this one is the portable one yep. that is battery operated um, so that you can, you know, portable it around because <laughs> that's a word. Okay.